Hi there everyone, this is your friend Jake and in this tutorial video, I will teach you guys on how to write a radix sort program in C programming language. Before we start, I would like to say thank you very much to all my subscribers in my channel. If you are new with my channel and then you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to share and please support my channel guys by clicking the subscribe button. So let's get started. In computer programming, especially in computer science, uh, one of the basic thing to understand is the different types of sorting algorithms. Sorting is very essential in any uh, task which involves data manipulation database. So one of the most commonly used sorting algorithm is the radix sort. So here, uh, we have here some comment, radix.c, and then yours truly, my web to websites where you can download the free source code, www.jkrpomprata.com and www.jkrpomprata.blogspot.com. And then at present time, I'm accepting freelance work like computer programming, system analysis designs, web development. Uh, mobile development so you can reach me in my mobile app uh, with in my email address jkrpompera.gmail.com my location is in Bacolod City Negros Occidental Philippines so we have here some define uh, CRT underscore secure no warnings this is being used on Visual Studio so we have here the two library file the stdio.h standard input output header file it is used primarily for input output in any C programs and then the second library here is stdlib.h standard library uh, we have here three functions the static void radix sort the code we will perform the sorting using radix the counting sort and then print array so let us go with the radix sort function in array. It will accept values here in array in int num. So we have here int i equals 0 place 0 array, the maximum value, and then we have here for loop statement that has count the number of elements that the user will give, and then an array. And then calling also the counting sort here, the positioning of values. And then for the second function, counting sort, array, in, in the place, sorting the arrangement. So we have here pointer output, malloc, or memory allocation size, and so if the size of the array is much bigger, it will display out of memory. So you have here some manipulation that will happen and then here the second function is study, uh, st uh, static void print array it will display the uh, original arrangement of the values of item elements and then the sorted array. Now let us go with the main function and every C or C programs there should be always a main function it is the starting and then the ending point of any C program execution I have declared two variables with the has a data type of integer a and num when we say integer are those variables that can only accept or store uh, positive and negative numerical values without any decimal values including zero system CLS clear screen and then the title of our program radix sort in C how many items it will ask how many items to be processed it will be stored in our num and malloc size multiply if p null it will display out of memory and then it will this portion of our code in line 88 to 91 it will accept a series of values that will be stored in an array a so it will a and b so it will display here the original array and then the, calling the radix sort and then it will display the sorted array and then free the memory of variable b return 0 c 
zero and close by the way guys uh, this uh, code will work only with positive numbers if it will encounter negative number it will stop the execution so let us go to build our build and run to, to run the program how many items let's say we have eight uh, item number 1, let's say we have 67. Item number 2, 456. Item number 3, 94. Let's ask 5, 7, 100, 345, 99. So, we have here the original array that we values. 67, 456, 95, 7, 100. 3, 4, 5, 99, sorted array. The smallest value, we have 7, ah, 5, 7, 67, 90, 99, 100, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Let us run again for second time around. How many items? Let's say we have 5. 1,000. We have here 888, 8, 8, 2, 3, 34, 567 so the original array we have here 1000 888 to 3 to 300 34 567 sorted array 34 567 888 1000 to 2300 so this is the end of our tutorial video on how to create Radix sort program using C programming uh, language. I'm using code blocks because if you're using an older version of the compiler, some of the codes using the newer version of implementation of C uh, language, it will not work. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and please support my channel by clicking the subscribe button. I will put a link in the description below where you can download the complete and free program listing. See you in the next video tutorial guys. This is your friend Jake Singh. Bye bye for now.